In 2014, Cabinet restructured the NADS program and shifted the mandate of Agriculture Extension Service Delivery back to the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Husbandry and Fisheries under the Directorate of Agriculture Extension Services. The Minister of Agriculture is therefore responsible for coordinating both public and private agriculture extension service delivery countrywide. While addressing the media earlier today, the Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Vincent Sempija, explained how far the Ministry has gone with regards to the extension workers. To date, the Ministry has recruited 3,811 out of the initial target of 5,000 extension workers across the country. Government acknowledges the need for the development of agriculture extension services for the agriculture sector to expand. According to Sempija, there are a number of strategies to achieve this. The ministry, however, is evolving different extension service delivery models to address the constraints of limited human resources at, human, at community level. The government is also planning to set up 13 regional referral centers for mechanization and irrigation. Two mechanization workshops have been completed in Dokola district and Mpiji district. In the next financial year, four other regional centers will be established in Mubende, Mbali, Arua and Hoima district. Each of these centers will be given tractors for use by the local farmers. However, the terms and conditions attach the use of these tractors. These tractors are not going to be 100% free. Each beneficiary is going to be contributing 20% uh, so that the money contributed will, will go into a revolving fund. And this revolving fund will help to maintain the tractors, but also as the fund grows, it can be used to buy other equipment such as planters, Meanwhile, the minister also revealed that quarantine of animals and dairy products from four districts have been lifted after the implementation of disease control measures by government. Today, the Minister of Agriculture and Anderson Fisheries announces lifting of quarantine restrictions, which were imposed on the following sub-counties due to the outbreak of foot and mouth disease. Maddu sub-county, Kabula Soke sub-county in Gomba district, Kabula in the Antonde district, Lugusuru in Sembawoli district, Rionza sub-county and Ngabo sub-county in Chegwegwa district. Some of the key achievements the agriculture sector has registered, the sector grew by 6% for the first time in two decades from 3.2% in 2016-2017. Export earnings arose by 9.6% to 3.93 billion US dollars in the period of July 2017 to March 2018 from 3.59 billion US dollars a year earlier. And the sector's contribution to the GDP increased from 24.9% in 2016-2017 to 26.2 percent. This increase was mainly on account of a rise in the export volumes of coffee, tea, maize and beans. Andrew Chamagero, NTV News.